it's astonishing how little we know about ancient India in this country. To give one example, by the age of 10, most people have come across Pythagoras and his theorem. But we should also know names like Aryabhatta and Brahmagupta. Aryabhatta, in about 350 AD, comes up with the exact circumference of the Earth, the distance of the Earth to the Moon, the distance of the Earth to the Sun, the fact that we live in a heliocentric universe, that the Earth goes round the Sun. He gets the figures exactly right. That's a thousand years before Galileo. Brahmagupta is sitting on a mountain top in Rajasthan, a place called Mount Ab, and he's meditating on this idea of sunya, which is an idea about the void. And he comes up with definitions of zero. So zero is, for example, the number you get when you subtract a number. And he realizes that, num that zero is not just an absence or the space between positive and negative. He realizes that it's a number with its own qualities. And therefore, you can do, well, number one, place value. Tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. You can also do things like algorithms and algebra and all sorts of fancy mathematical tricks. And it's basically Brahmagupta who takes zero, adds it to the existing nine Indian numbers and creates our numbers. <laughs>